Hi, welcome to Happy Tales. I'm Cheryl Rosenthal, Communications and Education Coordinator here at the Oshkosh Area Humane Society. And I'm Joni Geiger, Executive Director. And you know what, Joni? We have such an exciting show today. We're going to talk about rabbits. Cool. There are so many people that are getting rabbits as house pets, and they don't know how to properly take care of them. And so Carrie Tetzloff, who is our resident expert on small mammals, but especially rabbits, is going to come in today and tell us all about the aspects of caring for a rabbit. That's wonderful, because um, you're absolutely right. We've seen a continuous rise in the number of rabbits that we get here at the shelter. Um, years ago when we started in the business, not so much, but obviously this has been uh, a pet that a lot of people are thinking about and taking home, and um, and it's important that they're doing the right things right. for the rabbits. Well, and you know, one of the things that I noticed since working here at the shelter is so many, peop so many of the rabbits that we're getting in come to us as strays. Absolutely. And I think people need to recognize that these rabbits are are not yeah. wild bunnies that right. when they no longer want to keep them that they can just let them go outside right. and they're going to uh, be able to survive. These are domesticated rabbits and they rely on us for their food and water source and sure. for our protection. Right. So, but, and there's a reason they call them domestic. Right. Because right. they are not wild. Right. And, you know, just like wild rabbits don't make good house pets, yeah. domesticated rabbits don't, don't make, make good, good wild, rabbits, wild rabbits. Ra yeah. Wild rabbits. So. Wonderful. Well, it sounds exciting, Cheryl. All right. Well, let's get started and get okay. Carrie in here. Sounds good. Well, Carrie, I'd like to thank you for being here on our show today to talk about rabbits. And I, we have a lot of information that we want to get out to our viewers. And so I'm, the first question I'm going to ask you is, why do you think rabbits have become, have increased in popularity as a house pet in That's, recent years? It's a great question. For better or worse, they're becoming more popular. Um, a lot of people are breeding rabbits. There is an overpopulation crisis like there is for cats specifically. Um, they are widely available in pet stores unlike cats and dogs, so people are able to purchase them as impulse buys. Um, but also, there's been a lot of education in recent years. Uh, 25 years ago, the House Rabbit Handbook was published. Um, the idea of keeping rabbits as house pets um, was exciting and mm -hmm. um, interesting to people, and they wanted to find out what it would be like to keep a rabbit in their home uh, as a house pet rather than outside in a hot okay. shark. It, is, a, is a rabbit a good pet for small children? Sometimes. It depends on the rabbit. Um, the vast majority of rabbits really do not enjoy being held. Um, also, periods of chasing, like a child might do, can be a little bit stressful okay. for bunnies. And why don't bunnies like <clears throat> that? I think it's important that we address that. Absolutely. Rabbits are a prey animal. So um, when they're lifted off the ground, uh, that's the equivalent of becoming lunch for somebody. Okay, so, so they're, they're pretty low on the food chain. Absolutely. So anytime you're hovering over them to pick them up, mm -hmm. or you're chasing them, mm -hmm. that it kind of starts their fight and flight instinct. Absolutely. Um, bunnies are much more comfortable on the ground, so to build a good relationship with your bunny, you want to get used to getting down on their level and petting them where they feel comfortable. Okay. So, so the right rabbit with the right age children is a good match? Absolutely. I think it really depends on the children's expectations as well. A lot of people think that a rabbit is going to be a pet that will sit nicely on their child's lap that they can carry around the house. And that's what most kids want. Right. Um, something like a stuffed animal they can right. carry around to be their right. buddy. Right. Well, and I think that's true with even cats and dogs. Mm -hmm. They're not going to always sit quietly on your lap. How, <clears throat> how important is it that if you're thinking about getting a rabbit as a, a house pet, how important is it that you have them spayed and neutered? Oh, it's crucial. Um, living with an unaltered rabbit is extremely difficult. It's difficult to litter pan train them. They're more prone to cage aggression or territoriality in general when they're unaltered. Um, it's also very difficult to mix rabbits with other rabbits when they're not neutered or spayed. Okay, so do rabbits do okay as individual bunnies or do they like the company of other bunnies or does that vary from bunny to bunny? It really, um, it really kind of depends on whether or not they're spayed or neutered. Um, if they are not altered, they're going to tell you, no, I don't want a friend. But if they're altered, they're probably always going to, if they could express their opinion, tell you that they want Okay. Um, they so is that true even male, female, if they're not altered, that they Correct. don't want a friend? Is yep. That, Males still or females, they need to be spayed and okay. neutered. Yep. Okay. So you'll have a much nicer rabbit. Absolutely. Um, now, how, you know, that's a, a, spaying and neutering is an investment in your pet. So when people pay to have that done, 
How, how long does a rabbit live? Eight to 12 years. Um, interesting fact, unspayed female rabbits over five have about 80% chance of developing a reproductive cancer. So wow. it's very, very important, especially for the females to spay for health reasons. Okay. So that is a health benefit. Absolutely. And then the spaying and neutering is a health benefit and it's important for them to have a buddy. Mm -hmm. um, and they can live eight to 12 years. Yeah. Why is it, I heard you mention uh, here at the shelter that 50% 50% of the rabbits uh, that are in homes don't reach their first birthday. Yeah, it's really shocking. It's really, really shocking. Why is that? Well, you know, there's a number of factors. Most people think that rabbits are happy to live in a cage. Um, for the most part, uh, exercise plays a huge role in whether or not their gut is going to continue moving. Um, just a little bit about rabbits. They have two stomachs. Um, they have their cecum and then their regular stomach, and they constantly need to be eating. So they need to be eating Timothy Aid around the clock. They need to be moving and exercising to keep everything okay. moving in their gut. So just um, like us, we need exercise mm -hmm. to keep our digestive system and the blood flowing. Rabbits also need that. So if you're stuck in a little mm -hmm. cage all day, Absolutely. Uh, you're not able to get any exercise. Right. And just like you and I, you know, you can sit at your desk mm -hmm. and, you know, stomp your feet and, you know, do some arm lifts or whatever yeah. at your desk. But it's not the same as being mobile and really able to exercise and jump around. Absolutely. Good rule of thumb. Uh, rabbits should have several hours of exercise outside of their enclosure every day. Um, an exercise pen is a much more appropriate uh, housing type than a cage. Okay. Um, also, leafy greens are extremely important. Uh, they do need to eat fresh foods every day. Okay. In fact, um, most people think that pellets are sufficient to give your rabbit right. everything they need, but really, you can actually eliminate pellets altogether if you have Timothy hay provided around the clock and enough leafy greens. Okay, of variety well let's talk foods. about some of the yeah. things that, that they can and can't have. Absolutely. Um, I noticed that we have this bag of complete Timothy mm -hmm. Um, it's called Timothy Complete Rabbit Food. Now, there are other rabbit pellets out there that don't have the Timothy hay in it. Right. And what does that do for your rabbit? Well, alfalfa tends to be the first ingredient in most commercial rabbit foods. Okay. Um, and there's a reason for that. Feed uh, rabbits, rabbits that are being res raised for food, um, eat alfalfa so they put on weight quickly. Not something you want for your house rabbit. Okay. Um, you know, if you're only expecting a rabbit to live a year, like a rabbit that's being raised for food okay. production, alfalfa is appropriate. Um, but for Timothy, Timothy hay is what you want for a long life, for your rabbit to live a long time. Alfalfa really should only be fed to nursing mothers and to very young rabbits that are growing. Okay, because it's so high in the High in nutrients, nutrients. high in fat, high in calcium, which is one thing that can actually negatively impact adult rabbits. They okay. develop something called bladder sludge, um, which is kind of like uh, bladder stones. Um, okay. So a little bit painful to pass, thick, um, calcium-rich urine. You really, really want to um, lower that uh, calcium level in their diet to okay. keep them healthy. Okay, so make sure that you're, if you are feeding pellets, mm -hmm. um, you want to make sure that they're Timothy hay-based. Yes. Um, but they shouldn't just have dry pellets. I mean, right. it's, it's kind of like dogs. We always give them dry dog food, but every once in a while, give them a soft mm -hmm. treat or give them some canned dog food. Um, some of the things that we have on the table <clears throat> here, um, you know, I think we all think of Bugs Bunny. Mm -hmm. And uh, can, can rabbits have a lot of carrots or is that something that they should have in moderation? Really in moderation. They're very high in sugar, so not a healthy food. Okay. Um, you want them to have about a cup of fresh foods, leafy greens. Mm -hmm. um, also, there's other vegetables. Rabbit.org, the House Rabbit Society's website, has a complete list. Okay. Um, dozens and dozens of things okay. at your so local store. So carrots are store. really like you and I having a cookie. Exactly. So yep. that, that would be more of a treat for them. Exactly. As, uh, also, is kale also a treat for them? I believe kale might be rich in calcium. Okay. So it might so be you something you want to monitor lower. that. We have some uh, parsley here on the table. Yep, parsley and, then, and cilantro um, are great. Celery, uh, is it important? You know, do I just give it to my rabbit like this? I wouldn't because there are these long strings in the cel celery in the outside. Um, and these can actually clog up your bunny's digestive tract. So it's best to break your celery in little pieces like this. Okay, so bunny. one or two inches and then Absolutely. your bunny will eat it. Yeah. And then oh, I forgot about the bowls. Um, mm -hmm. Well, we'll finish with the lettuce sure. here. Um, this is a nice big head of uh, romaine mm -hmm. lettuce and they should have about a cup of this. Now, I know it's hard. How do you measure a cup of lettuce? <laughs> 
It's difficult. Um, I usually, for one bunny, I'd say a couple leaves of romaine, a okay, few so sprigs of parsley, maybe a couple pieces of celery. Okay, so um, for our bunny, you probably would do something like this. Yeah, at least that now, much. Now, this I'd is say. the package. It comes three in a package, or <clears throat> mm -hmm. you can get the really big one. So I would take these and I should probably rinse them off really yes, nicely. Absolutely. And you then. Make sure to wash um, them. And then you're going to, again, are you going to give it to them like this or are you going to shred it? Or? I usually break it down into okay, some smaller pieces. So you would just pieces. probably do something like this and mm -hmm. put it in a little bowl if you want or mm -hmm. you can just put it on there. And then we can dress it up a little bit with some yeah. celery and some <laughs> Maybe one little baby carrot and one a little snack carrot. There. <laughs> so just like you're making a salad for yourself, yeah. but hold the dressing, right? Absolutely. And then uh, as long as we're talking about bowls, um, I always, when I grew up, um, I had rabbits, and my rabbits had, in the house, they had a water bottle. Mm -hmm. um, is a water bottle better than a, a bowl, or should they have a bowl? Nope, the bowl is definitely preferred. It used to always be thought that the drip bottle was the best for rabbits, um, but actually a water crock is going to promote drinking, so filling that up, um, giving them fresh water every day in a crock is going to um, increase their water intake every day. Okay. They'll really just sip from a bottle. Okay, so it's easier for them to drink. Now, if mm -hmm. your rabbit, if you get a rabbit that's been in a cage long term mm -hmm. and is used to a bottle, you should offer both for a while. Absolutely, okay. yeah. Here to at make the shelter sure with they're... new bunnies, we offer both. Okay, to make sure. Now, this is interesting. Uh, mm -hmm. Do they hide in this, or what? What are they? This is a cardboard <laughs> core. Yep. Um, a little bunny could probably fit in there. Um, otherwise, larger bunnies, you can see this is pretty chewed up around the edge. Some of our resident rabbits here have had some fun with this tube. Um, they can push it. Bunnies are big fans of de redecorating their space. That's one thing okay. that they do to have fun. So rolling this around, chewing on it um, is going to be some a, good fun. I had a friend's rabbit who loved playing with pop cans. Mm -hmm. Uh, like to bang it around and really make a lot of noise. Absolutely. So rabbits need to chew because yes. their teeth are always growing. That's right. Um, what kind of things do you give them so that their teeth, um, so that you keep their teeth shorter? Right. Is that the cardboard? Does that is that enough? Cardboard. Well, their Timothy hay that they have around the clock is going to help them wear their teeth down. So that's where you really want to start is make sure they have the proper diet, and we'll be chomping on that Timothy hay all day. Cardboard is great. This is a wood material. Um, okay. You can buy these at your local pet store. And what I like is you can mold this to whatever shape you want. Um, some bunnies will hide under here. Now, I, this kind of scares me because it's it's very colorful, and <laughs> I, I immediately think of food dyes. So mm -hmm. is this something I have to be worried about? This is actually made with a natural vegetable dyes, so it is safe for your bunny. But you do want to always watch for that when you're purchasing toys at the store. Okay, so don't don't try to make something like this and then paint it. Correct. Unless you have a vegetable or, or right. organic-based um, Absolutely. Stain I always that leave that up to the experts. <laughs> okay, and then um, I noticed that we have this kind of looks like baby toys mm -hmm. to me. Yeah. Um, I've seen the rabbits play with these. I like to throw them up in the air mm -hmm. and do things with. And here's a little um, carrot. And then do they actually play with these? Absolutely, yes. They roll them around mm -hmm. and, and toss them in the air. Um, one important thing for rabbits and their toys is changing them every single day. Um, oftentimes what happens, you give the rabbit a new toy, they play for it for a, li with a, li for it a little bit, and then they stop playing with it. The novelty has worn off. But if I have this toy and every other day I put it in my rabbit's cage, she's going to play with it all okay. the time. I think it's just like our cats and our dogs. Mm -hmm. Rotate their toys to make it, make it a new fun mm -hmm. game. This is kind of an interesting one. They can, there's a nut inside mm -hmm. there that rattles. And uh, ra Do rabbits like noise? Absolutely. Um, so. Unlike cats, their play is not really motivated by a prey drive. So cats like to chase, um, hunt, stalk. Rabbits, that's not really their style. They don't have that as part of their natural instinct. Okay, so, so they just like things that make different noises. They really enjoy then, different what, sensory experiences. What is this? Uh, um, this is a ball uh, purchased at one of our local pet stores, um, made with some natural fibers, um, kind of difficult to pick up. So um, it's going to provide a chewing experience for your bunny and a challenge to pick it up and throw it as well. Okay. And of course, our basket is just to hold our toys. So they actually can play with these oh, baskets. They can? Yep, if oh. they are untreated, um, this you'll notice this handle is chewed off. Okay. Um, very important, though, just like the dies for the um, wooden toys, you want to make sure the the basket is untreated because some of those finishes can hurt your bunny and they're toxic. But yeah, an untreated basket can be actually good fun okay. too. Okay, wonderful. So. I think what we're going to do is we're going to take a little bit of a break, and when we come back, we're going to talk about 
the proper housing for your rabbit and we're going to reintroduce some of these things and talk about litter box training your rabbit mm -hmm. and the importance of Timothy Hay and what you can do to house or bunny proof your house so that your bunny can uh, have a good exercise area. Absolutely, that sounds great. Yes, you ready? You ready? Go get it. Oh, come on, Randy. Animal shelter, here I come. And no, I'm not crazy or emotionally damaged. That's a stereotype. I just belong to a total loser. I'm a good dog. So if you want a pet, adopt. And if you see Randy, tell him he dropped his wallet. Life's funny. I never thought I'd end up at a shelter. But then again, Neither did you. Life's funny. Well, Carrie, here we are uh, with uh, Carmel and little Dusty. Now, Dusty is full grown. He is. He's a mini Rex. A mini Rex, mm -hmm. and Carmel is a Rex. Mm -hmm. Correct. Okay, like the Velveteen Rabbit. That's right. And they are in a nice little pen here. And uh, usually, when people keep rabbits in the past, um, I have seen them keep them in uh, a cage where it's probably half this size. Right. Um, can a rabbit live comfortably in this size enclosure? I think this is a little bit small, but you can make it work, especially if you're letting your bunny outside several hours a day for some exercise. Okay. So when you say let my bunny out for a little while, you're mm -hmm. not advocating I take my bunny outside. No, correct. Um, but to give my bunny some exercise area in the house, mm -hmm. how do I bunny-proof my house? Because I question. know that rabbits chew. Yes, they do, especially when they're young. A lot of people that choose a younger rabbit as a pet are going to find that out pretty quickly, that young rabbits are quite destructive. Um, first thing is first, protecting your bunny and your wires. You definitely want to make sure all cables, wires are covered. Um, the sprays are not enough. They really need to be covered with a plastic tubing. Um, you can buy that inexpensively at Menards or Home Depot, a home improvement okay. store, or you can buy it from a pet store as well. Okay, so things like for cats, I know you can put soap on the wires. That doesn't work for rabbits. It's not enough. Most bunnies are too interested in chewing that wire to care about okay. the deterrent, and they'll still go for it. So maybe don't put your rabbit in your computer room. Right, right. <laughs> or have everything blocked off. Some people will put all their wires for their computer through PVC piping, okay. and they'll tape it off. So everything from where it comes out of the computer to the wall is covered in PVC. What other thing? I mean, will they chew on the woodwork? Will they chew? Okay, so you... Absolutely. Okay. Yep, so, um, you, you but know... But that's so important that they have these other other chew toys. Exactly right. Um, if you give them something appropriate that they can chew on, if they have lots of digging outlets like phone books, they're going to be less likely to dig in your carpeting. Um, if they have lots of nice outlets like baskets and wooden chew toys, they're going to be less likely okay. to go So that's another molding. way I can recycle my old phone book is give Absolutely. it to my rabbit. Or, yep. or a book, uh, like or paperback your, books that, right. you, that are maybe you don't want anymore, let mm -hmm. them shred those things. So Paper by giving them rolls. enough outlets. Um, so how much time should my bunny have outside of his his cage? I would say somewhere between two and four hours at least a day. The nice thing about bunnies is they're active at dawn and dusk. So for most working people, that's when they're home. Mm -hmm. um, so in the morning when you're getting ready for work, why not open up your exercise pen, let your bunny out for some exercise. Now, right away when you talk about letting the bunnies out and run around, it's like, uh-oh, aren't they going to potty in the house? Mm. So let's talk about litter box. Absolutely. And, uh, what, what do we need in that litter box? What should we be providing? And how mm -hmm. do you litter box train your bunny? Mm -hmm. Well, cats, uh, their natural instinct is to use a sandy substrate. For bunnies, it's not so much about what's, uh, what you have as a litter in the litter pan as it is about the location of the litter pan. Okay. They naturally want to eliminate in a corner. So you want to start off by putting litter pans in your bunny's pen in the corners. Okay. Um, when I litter pan train um, bunnies in a pen, if it's a very large pen, I will put a litter pan in every single corner to start okay. um, and then remove some. Okay, or, now if in this pen where we have the litter pans, mm -hmm. if I come in and my bunny has gone to the bathroom in that corner, Move do I just pan. change corners? Absolutely. Much easier to just work with your bunny's instinct than to try to fight against it. Okay. So rearranging and, and how I noticed that uh, Carmel is in his box eating his Timothy hay. Mm -hmm. and. Um, but that's also their litter box. And I, I'm sure some people are going to go, ew, uh -huh. we don't eat where we poop. 
bunnies um, do. But bunnies do. Absolutely. And so it's very important that we have Timothy Hay in there. What do we have on the bottom of the box? Um, we're using yesterday's news, but we oftentimes use a wood stove pellet that's made specifically for small mammals. It okay. absorbs about 300% its weight. And okay, weight. so it absorbs the urine, mm -hmm. and then the fecal pellets are the little I don't know, rabbit Little. raisins, I yeah. guess some people call them. <laughs> They're really dry Correct. and they turn into dust, so there's no odor with them. Correct. But then rabbits also have their cecal. Mm -hmm. Most of the times in a healthy rabbit that's not stressed out, you'll never see their cecal pellets, but it's a wet poop that they eat as soon as it comes out, and it has extra nutrients in it. It's okay. undigested food. So they're kind of recycling. Exactly right. Okay, So, but they do that in their litter pan. Oftentimes, or really they can be sitting in the middle of the floor and they can eat some cecals. As soon as they come out, it just um, they eat them as they're coming out. Okay. They never even and touch then the floor. The, the Timothy hay. Tell, explain the importance of the Timothy mm. hay. About 80% of their diet should be Timothy hay. Around the clock, 24 hours a day, they need to have access to it. So it's really not a snack. A handful is not enough. A great big pile in the litter pan refreshed a couple times a day is usually typical for a okay. rabbit. And you can buy that in a bale or mm -hmm. so. And, and do I have to put it in the box or? Yeah, you really should put it in the litter box. That's the easiest way to litter pan train them is to put that hay where they're going to want to eliminate. Okay. And then how often do I need to dump all of this out and really refresh my, my bunny's litter? De it depends on how many bunnies you have and how many litter pans you have. I'd say every day or other, every other day is a good rule of thumb. Um, I do every other day for my bunnies, but they have very, very big litter pans, okay. um, big storage okay. containers. So in addition to, uh, now I know because on on the show today, we don't have their greens in here. Mm -hmm. They have their rabbit pellets, they have their um, water bowl, mm -hmm. they have their um, <clears throat> litter boxes. So they also should have their toys in here. Correct. They should, but also those greens are mm -hmm. really important yes. because what can happen if they don't get enough greens or enough exercise and their uh, digestive system starts mm. to shut down. Can you explain what, what happens? Well, bunnies can get gastrointestinal stasis, which is a fancy word for constipation, and it is um, life-threatening. That's the reason why 50% of bunnies don't reach their first birthday as they develop GI mm -hmm. stasis, also called the silent killer. So it comes on really fast. As soon as they develop um, from stasis a blockage in their gut, within 24 hours they can pass. Okay, so how, what, what should people be looking for? Mm. They should look for um, changing behavior in their bunny. So if their bunny is normally very excited about meal time and is not eating, that's a number one sign that there's okay. something wrong. Um, decreased activity level, which you're probably only going to notice if you let your bunny out regularly, okay. um, if they're not moving around as much. Hunched over body possession, uh, teeth grinding to show that they're in pain. Okay. Those are some of the warning signs. And you can hear them grind their teeth? Or? Sometimes you can hear it, but you can always feel it when you put your hands on the bunny's head or okay. on their body. And it's very them. important that we should, you should be touching your bunny every day and handling them. Crucial. Not necessarily picking them up. But let's talk about picking yeah, up bunnies. Yeah, absolutely. How do we pick up a bunny? Sure. Well, what is the correct way? main thing is you want to avoid the bunny kicking as much as possible because their backs are very fragile and they can actually hurt their spine or their back if they kick too much. So I can show you here on Dusty. You always want to make sure that you're supporting their rear end. Um, and I like to put my hand up around their uh, chest like a little vest to okay. kind of support them. Kind of the um, same way you would pick up a cat in some respects. Mm -hmm. okay. It has a lot to do with that. And he's not struggling much. A bunny that struggles, I'm going to bring close to my body right away so they feel secure and they're not going to be kicking. And then as far as letting them jump down, again, you shouldn't just let them jump out of your arms. Mm -hmm. Now, what, what do you do if a bunny, if, if your bunny's not used to being handled, how do you start getting your bunny used to being picked up? Mm. It is very important, even though bunnies don't enjoy being handled, um, and it's not a really good way to build a strong relationship with your bunny picking them up constantly, they need to be picked up for uh, routine health exams, for you to be able to trim their nails, they need to be comfortable okay. with it. So maybe sitting on the floor and then picking your bunny up and going as far as your lap? Absolutely. That might, is that a, a starting way to start? Starting on the floor is a great way to start. Okay, and finding out what they like. Um, I, I know over here we have some other bunnies. Mm -hmm. um, and I know the black and white bunny, I can't think of her name. Bella. Bella, she loves ear rubs. She does, she really, really likes ear rubs. So could you use ear rubs as you're sitting on the floor, you get Bella on your lap, she do, isn't really liking it. Mm -hmm. um, 
and so you treat her with a, a, an ear rub. Is that a way to sure. do they respond to reward like Absolutely. other animals? Absolutely. Positive reinforcement is really the way that you want to go. Um, so making um, interactions with them, especially when you're holding them as positive as possible, is very important. Okay. And I noticed that we have a cardboard box in there. Is that just for them to chew on? or They do like to hide in there. These two bunnies are a little bit more timid. They're new to the shelter. Um, they really appreciate having a hiding space. In your home, you might notice when your bunnies are loose, they might take to an area under a table. Um, if they get scared, they might bolt under the couch. They do that when they feel insecure. Okay. And how about bunnies with other pets? Um, do they get along? Can they get along with cats and dogs, or is that something that re people really, you know, if you have a dog or a cat, don't get a bunny? No, you certainly can mix them with other pets. Um, the main thing is you want to make sure that you have a safe place for bunny when you're not home, that so your bunny is fully enclosed and protected from your dog or cat, so they can't be injured when okay, you're not so home. Okay, so in supervised. addition to being in a cage or a, a playpen like this or the one that we have over here, we also want to make sure that maybe the door to that room is closed and secured so that the dog can't go in there or Absolutely. the cat can't. Mm -hmm. If you have okay. a dog, one of the big things is making sure your dog does know basic commands before you do an introduction. Okay. So, all right. Well, let's come back over here and think. Um, I think we covered a lot of information today. Can you think of anything else that you think our viewers need to know? Um, um, I think one of the things I want to remind our viewers is that we have a lot of rabbit information yes. here at the shelter, or they can go online to the House Rabbit Society That's right. and learn more about rabbits, or they can come and ask for Carrie That's right. here at the shelter. But is there anything, uh, if there's one thing that you think people should think about before they get a rabbit, what would that be? Um, I just really think that they should explore alternative housing like Penn, uh, like an exercise pen, keeping your bunny with a friend um, for a lifetime of companionship and appropriate diet. Okay. Those are the things I'd like them to really Wonderful. research. Well, Carrie, I can't thank you enough for being here today and taking the time to teach us all about these beautiful rabbits that we have available for adoption. And so until next time, happy, happy tails, tails to you. you.